So I just want to thank everybody for the contribution this mo the, the, in this first session. I think it was quite incredible. Um, you know, really fascinating looking at bleeding edge, leading edge technologies like metaverse. You know, and, 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 and where that could potentially take us into the future. I think that's, that's really fascinating. You know, transporting the ability to transport somebody to a digital representation of that project and then to be able to inspect that project, you know, using virtual reality. You know, you think about the technology and the value that that can bring, but also think about, you know, sustainability aspect. It's quite interesting, you know. A, a team of, of, of um, executives visiting a site without having to travel there, right? So I guess that's an immediate reduction of embodied carbon just via technology, you know. And, and we look forward to those kinds of things happening, you know, in the future as the technology evolves. Um, the other thing I just wanted to touch on was we had a really interesting conversation with regards to human technology interaction. And I think that's, you know, that's really fascinating. And we had that little poll about, you know, is it easier to change technology or is it easier to change, you know, culture? And I think everybody agreed that technology was far easier to change than culture. Um, and the one other thing that, I, that I'd add here, and it's, it's, it's something that's, that's quite, um, quite personal to me as, as, as well. You know, the only way is up for technology and digitalization within the AEC sector. You know, reports after reports have shown that this is the last major industry primed for transformation. Um, and if you look at how we compare in terms of digital index between manufacturing, banking, finance, you know, they're off the scale. They've seen the transformation. And I think we are just about to go through that process too. And if you think about technology as a tool to help people have a better day, and you sort of just think of the reciprocal of that, right? You know, they were having a worse day before this technology sort of helped them do things in a more efficient way. And think about what that means to that individual and that person. And if you think about the, the you know, potentially the, the focus on wellness and well-being is, 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 is really interesting here. You know, just before we make the start of the session, I think it's, it's quite important to sort of call this out. You know, mental health and well-being within the construction sector, um, the statistics, certainly for the UK, are absolutely shocking. Um, the CIOB can, can, uh, calls, the, 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 it calls it a silent crisis within, within construction. And the standout statistic for this is that as a male worker within, within the industry, within the construction industry, you are three times more likely to commit suicide than a male worker in any other industry. So we've got a very low digi digitalization capability. We've got a, a, the, the capability to make people's lives far, far better. And therefore, we have the capability to make the well-being of the workforce that bring these projects together much, much better as well. And, and, I, I, and, I, and I think that's something that we should, we should all focus on. So for our next session, for our next speaker, we have Rob, who is going to, again, I think focus on some of the human aspects on the technology aspects and how we best um, engage people's attention. Sounds like a fascinating subject. Rob, the stage is yours.